Last October, Judy Butler came to Glasgow to give her lecture, and I feel so uncomfortable when she expressed her attack on the inequality of grief ability. She argued that we should grieve for everyone equally because everyone are human being. When every anyone suffer, we should have the same、uh, grief. This idea is against the East Asian Confucian perspective because, according to Confucianism. It is natural to grieve for your close relatives more than strangers. Imagine your close relatives, say your father or your mother, and a stranger are drowning together. Whom will you save first? Obviously, you will save your close relatives first because you have stronger emotional attachment with him or her, and your ability is limited. You cannot save. Two persons at the same time, so you have to make a choice. This is not an ideal situation, but this is inevitable. It is simply our human nature. Our human nature and our limitation leads to the inequality of grievability, which has rational ground. Of course, we want to love everyone. We want to achieve the absolute equality of grievability. Love everyone. Treat everyone as equally. But for Confucian, it is simply impossible. Confucian stop here. Other religions go further. For example, Christianity argue that with the help of God, we should promote universal love, agape.、Uh, for Buddhism, they call for universal mercifulness. The point is that all religions try to provide us some method, transcendent method, a、uh, religious method, spiritual method, to achieve universal love and equality. Without, without rejecting or renouncing the family love or human nature, the problem of Butler and her followers is that they denounce the human nature and human limitations without providing us any method to achieve equality or universal grievability. They never provide any method. They just say,、uh, "We should achieve universal or equal grievability, and the human nature is weak. We should not grieve for someone over others." At the end, they simply denounce our human nature. They do not bring us to the utopia of equality. We must reject such empty dream of equality.